do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Drupal. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today, we back to the basics, not the basics, y'all know I used to love doing these reactions to these animals, now, this is different, we got these animals that, okay, so first of all, I don't know where this came from, right, I just saw the thumbnail and I was like, I, I kinda wanna watch this video, and I figured it, it'd just be pointless for me to watch it by myself, but, so I decided to turn on the camera, but, the thumbnail is this creature, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know what the heck it is. I, I was trying, I was going to try and explain it, but I don't think I can. Hopefully, it's not clickbaiting. It's actually in this thing because, you know, these pages be clickbaiting you by making up some fake animals and then putting it in the, in the, as a thumbnail. I don't clickbait. I've never clickbaited in my life. All my thumbnails are real. All my videos are, are real. No cap, no type, no, no, no clickbait in the titles either. Everything I say is 100% real. I actually downbait my videos, if you believe that. But anyways, we finna watch this. Hopefully we see some crazy animals. Cause you know the world is so big, there's so many animals that you really don't know exist. And that's what we're finna be watching today. So if you're excited for this video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? And go to jewelry.com. So you can buy two and get the derm free and bottle up say stuff fifty dollars. We got the best durags in the game, but you already knew that. But without further ado, let's hop right into this, man. There are about 8.7 million species. This look like a dirty... Never mind, I ain't gonna say it. This is a family channel. I ain't finna say that, but... Okay. ...that we know of, anyway, on planet Earth. With so many animals, it's likely you haven't kept track of each and every one. Did y'all just... <laughs> Did y'all just see me put this chip in my mouth and it fall out? Come on, now. We all know about lions, tigers, and bears. Oh, my. But when you really dig deeper, you might be surprised by the strange animals roaming around out there in the wild. From weird looking amphibians to pokey mammals, the sheer amount of diversity in the animal kingdom is pretty amazing. Uh -huh. Curious to see what oddball beasts we found? Yeah. Well, I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 bizarre animals you didn't know exist. All right, Mike. Talk to us, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Talk to us, Mike. The heck is that? 25. Narwhal. Okay, maybe some of you know narwhals exist. One did make an appearance in the holiday movie Favorite Elf. But perhaps for others of you, the idea of a narwhal existing is totally new. This ain't just rocks. This ain't... That's not rocks and water. No. Oh. Narwhals are unicorns of the sea. Porpoises with giant tusks that look like a giant sword. Crazily enough, no one really knows what it's for. 24. Garanuk. That's all you finna tell us about the unicorn dragon rocks? Mike sucks. The first thing most notice about the Garanuk is its incredibly long neck. It has the longest neck in the gazelle family. A rather shy animal, it's not very sociable and will usually run away or stand perfectly still if detected. 23. Giant isopod. If you're wondering if aliens are out there, you might want to look to the seas. The giant isopod is so bizarre and alien-like, it'll probably give you the creeps. A bottom feeder, it crawls around on the ocean floor seeking food. It becomes so big because of deep sea gigantism, a phenomenon where deep sea creatures grow much larger than similar creatures in the shallow water. 22. Paku fish. Dude, it got teeth. Look like my teeth. Well, my teeth cleaner, but why do fish have like teeth like that? That's a fit. Why do it? The Paku fish, a relative of the piranhas, have human-like teeth. I'm telling you. And they're much closer to home than you think. These fish are an invasive species and were recently found in New Jersey. That's my home. That's my. That's where I was born and raised. The fish is my brother. A myth spread around that they like to bite human male testicles, but of course, that's a sack of lies. 21. What the f- Where did- Where did that come from? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Species, ...and were recently Wait. found in New Jersey. A myth spread around that they like to bite human male testicles, but of course, that's a- What? 
And if, okay, so me personally, when I think of myths, right, I think somebody believes this and somebody made this up because it happened. There's no way somebody just randomly thought, yeah, let's just say that this fish likes to bite male nut sacks. What? <laughs> Imagine you swimming in the lake, right, enjoying your time, skinny dipping with a bad little sexy shorty. You know what I'm saying? Skinny dipping you both booty balls naked, enjoying your time. All of a sudden, you feel what feels like a man's teeth. Grab onto your nutsack and drag you down. You look down, it's a fish. It's not a regular fish. It's a human-mouthed fish. It's biting on your nuts. Sack of lies. 21. Panda ant. Speaking of lies, the... Okay, we got to talk about this. Animals consist of animals, not insects. Insects are not animals. I don't... I don't... In my head, insects are not animals. So them showing us this like a billion, bazillion, bazillion different types of insects. Like, I, of course, nobody knows this ant exists. There's only three of them in the freaking world. The panda ant is neither a panda nor an ant, but a wasp with a very painful sting. It's been called the cow killer ant as well. Solitary by nature, they can be found in Chile and Argentina. 20. Mantis shrimp. Not only is the mantis shrimp a colorful creature, it also has some very interesting superpowers. Its protruding eyes have 16 receptive cones which can detect 10 times more color than a human, including ultraviolet light. On top of that, its eyes can move independently, allowing it to watch its back while it attacks its own prey. 19. Umbonia spinosa What the fuck is that? And how did you ever find that? You in the wild, you're not seeing that. That's blended in with the leaves. And what is it on right now? Somebody's nutsack? Like, what, what is this long, hairy thing on my screen? This bizarre-looking leaf creature is known as Umbonia spinosa, or thorn bug. It hangs around fruit trees in Florida. By piercing the plant, it can suck the sap right up. Hey, yo. In fact, some tree trunks in Florida were so heavily infested by these guys, they killed the tree entirely. 18. Red-lipped batfish. Why they big got lipstick on? This looks stupid. Now, God, I didn't mean to, tell, to say your creature looks stupid, but this thing. Noah had to get two of these things too? Or was they just alive inside the, the water thing? They, they, through the flood? Was the, was the fish animals alive? Like in Noah's Ark, question for y'all, if y'all is smart. Did he have to get insects and water animals too? Because can't they survive the flood? Well, insects, they can't. But I don't. How'd he get all the ins how do he get all the insects? You know what I'm saying? Looking like it just put on a bright shade of red lipstick, the red-lipped batfish isn't so much a fish, but a crawling stingray. It's a horrible swimmer, and mostly crawls around on the bottom of the ocean, looking to devour its prey. 17. Glaucus Atlanticus. Glaucus? <laughs> the Glaucus the Gla Atlanticus Gla goes by many names, including Blue Angel, Blue Dragon, and Blue Sea Slug. It uses clever camouflage to protect itself from predators above and below the sea. They're also hermaphrodites. When two of them mate, they both produce egg strings. Those look fine. I'm not going to lie to you. These look fine. Like, if I saw that, I think it's, like, super, super small, but it, it, it looks cool. I'm not going to lie to you. And it got one eye. I feel like, do insects have one eye? I feel like all insects have one eye. Is there a single insect with one eye, with, with two? I mean... Is there a single insect with one eye? Because I feel like they all got two eyes. What has one eye? No animal in the world has one eye. Or am I, be, am I being stupid? Am I being... Y'all finna be like, you're so stupid. The Excomorpheus Murphyshirvichum has one eye. That, Alexa, what animal has one eye? Cyclops. That's, that's not an animal. That's, that's a freaking X-Men. So, hermaphrodites. When two of them mate, they both produce egg strings. 16. Bombyx mori. The Bombyx mori, also called the China silkworm, is a fuzzy looking moth that likes to hang out on blueberry trees. While they might look cuddly, they're actually pretty disgusting, as they like to mate with anything moth sized and secrete a fluid off their bodies when they get excited. <laughs> Them those little freaks. They clapping anything they can find. Hold on now. 15. Lowland Streak Tenrec. This porcupine lookalike is actually a Lowland Streak Tenrec, 
and can only be found in Madagascar. They reside primarily on the east side of the island. If they get separated from a group of Tenrek, they can use sound vibrations to communicate and tell others where they are. 14. Saiga Antelope The Saiga Antelope can use its long nose to breathe in clean air on dusty days. It lives on the plains of Africa, but its population is critically endangered with only 50,000 remaining on Earth. That thing is not really attractive. And I'm, I'm not saying like animals are attractive, I'm saying that's, that the animal is pretty ugly. It's not ugly, it's just the nose is weird. It's like the mixture between a gazelle and a, and a, and a what them things called, elephant. Like, I don't, I don't know. 13. Bush Viper. Found in Kenya cold. and Tanzania, the bush viper is a rather scaly and sometimes colorful snake with a vicious bite. They aren't very active, however, and are capable of hanging coiled on a tree without moving for days. 12. Goblin. This is the thing I saw on the freaking the thumbnail. What the heck is this piece of crap? What the f <laughs> There's no way this is real. What? What? This look like this look like a shaved nut sack with oil on it. Baby oil sp splattered all over a shaved nut sack. Why is it so shiny? Shark. Growing up to 12 feet, or 3.6 meters feet? long, and weighing up to 460 pounds, or 208.6 kilograms, the goblin shark can be found swimming around the ocean floor near Japan. The most bizarre thing about them is their ability to extend their jaws outward to snap and catch their prey. 11. So they, you know how, so they mouth goes out like that? Oh, that's a scary mother F. I'm not going to lie to you. Imagine, imagine a slippery ball sack coming at you with some sharp teeth and all of a sudden the ball sack extends itself and captures you. Indian purple frog. That's ugly. The Indian purple frog is not your average frog. I see that. It hardly even looks like one in the first place. I see that. It was first discovered in the Western Ghats mountain range in India. Apparently, its body is evolutionarily designed to allow it to spend most of its life below ground. 10. Okapi. I saw this. While you might think the Okapi is related to the zebra because of its stripes, you'd be wrong. It's actually the only living relative of the giraffe. And much like their giraffe kin, they have very long tongues that can reach their eyes and ears. No they some freaks. Nine. Hummingbird hawk moth. The hummingbird hawk moth is a weird combination of all the things in its namesake. It hovers over flowers collecting nectar like a hummingbird, but has the appearance of a hawk. And in reality, it's a moth. Eight. Sea pig. What the heck is this? Sea pigs are, of course, not pigs at all, but sea cucumbers, and it's hard to deny, they look pretty freaky. Even though they exist in all the world's oceans, people will unlikely ever see one because of the cold and deep environments they choose to call home. 7. Atrotokawana Aselti <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> this man is just putting stuff on the screen. This ain't an animal. What the <laughs> First, they showed me this floating heart. This floating freaking heart with, with, with tentacles coming out of it. Now they show me this three-year-old's this three-year-old's third grade freaking art assignment. Like what <laughs> this is not an animal, bro. Come on. The Atrotokawani Selti goes by another less scientific name. I'll just let you guess what that is. It might look like a snake, but it's actually not a reptile at all, but an amphibian. It's primarily aquatic, lacking lungs and breathing through its skin instead. 6. Jaguarundi Oh, that's far. A strange South American cat is the Jaguarundi, a weasel-like cat with a slender body and flat head. Unlike the jaguar, it doesn't have spots, but it does have a wide display of colors for its species. While it's known for being in South America, they've been found in North and Central America as well. That's far. 5. Okay. Shoebill Similar to a pelican or stork, the shoebill is remarkably more terrifying and murderous. It looked murderous. It looked like it kills people for fun. It, it literally looks like it, it likes to kill people and hurt people. 
Like, if you're at the beach and you see this pelican coming up to you, you better run. I'm not going to lie to you. Ain't no shooting it away. None of that. It's taking you. And it might even, it might, it's going to take your food and it might even take you too. Located in Africa, the shoebill waits like a statue in swamps for its prey. Once something comes along, it strikes like a terror in the night. Four. Thorny dragon. The fuck? Covered in spikes all over its body like rose thorns, thorny dragons live up to their name, and then some. It's believed their spikes are to ward off predators. Living in Australia, they only eat ants and can change color depending on the temperature. Three. Blue parrotfish. I've seen this fish before. I saw a blue fish before. Blue parrotfish are bright blue with a yellow spot on their head. Most interestingly, however, is their beak-like jaws with fused teeth to eat algae from rocks. They also have pharyngeal teeth to grind rocks into sand. 2. Dumbo Octopus Living at extreme depths of 13,000 feet, or 3,962.4 meters, the Dumbo Octopus is a relatively small animal that hovers on the ocean floor, looking for snails or worms. Where its mouth at? Is, is like all of this its mouth? Or is the mouth back there? But this the eyes and this the ears. Why does it have ears underwater? No animal has ears underwater. Well, like ears like this underwater. But where is mouth at? Because I'm not... One. Pink fairy armadillo. What? Looking like a cross between a pill bug and a guinea pig, the pink fairy armadillo has to be one of the most bizarre animals on the planet. You will likely never see one in the wild, as they're more comfortable digging through solid earth than walking on land. They're so rare and hard to find, scientists aren't even sure if they're endangered or not. Enjoying our lists? Be sure- No, that was a trash list. Uh, it wasn't a trash list, but towards the end, he was kind of reaching. He was trying to reach that 25 number, but it wasn't, it wasn't doing it. He started drawing stuff and putting pictures of them and making up freaking names. He said the animal Morpheus, the baboos, like, with the purple thing. Like, what the heck is that, man? Anyways, man, that's the end of the video. A couple of these things, I, well, all of these things I don't think I've ever seen before. Except for, I've seen that, that, that zebra horse thingy, and I, I, I also, I also... Yeah, I only seen the zebra horse thing. You know what's crazy? Like, the word is so big. You know what I'm saying? And there's so many p places that I feel like we haven't explored and animals that we haven't even seen. And, like, cr especially creatures underwater. Because ain't nobody going 100 million feet down below the ocean floor to see all the animals. It's probably, like, huge dinosaurs down there or something. And we just don't know. We think the waves is being caused by the wind and the boats. No. That's a little sea creature moving its left thumb. Waiting to get woken up and kill the whole world. You know what I'm saying? We don't know that. Because we what they say? They say we only explore 10% of the ocean. What's in the other 90%? What eats the whales? You know what I'm saying? Where are the whales going? You think they washing up on shore just for fun? No, they're being scared onto the shore. This Somebody's eating the whales, and the whales is big. So what's big enough to eat a whale? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man, that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Did y'all know any of these were animals? Have y'all seen any of these animals? I want to see that cat one. That cat one I've never seen before. The Jagui, the Jaguariana, whatever the heck the name was. But, yeah, um, I think that's the only one I, that would be cool to see. The other, other ones, I don't think I need to see those. I'm not going to lie to you. But y'all let me know if y'all ever seen any of those. And, um, yeah, that's really about it. Make sure you like the video if you made it this far. And I'm going to see y'all. Ayo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through